I know talking to your kids about sex is scary, but if you're not talking to them about sex, then where are they learning about it from? They're learning about it from their schools, which teach basic biological reproduction. They're seeing it on TV, in films, and of course porn. So they're never actually getting an education about how to begin a sexual relationship. Oh, they'll figure it out. Um, yeah, they will. We need to do better than that. We are the parents of today, and we have the opportunity to teach our children better than we were taught. Our kids learn a lot from the media, TV, film, and they're getting a lot of misinformation. I saw blockers the other night. There's a scene in the film where one of the girls gives the other girl a baggie of coconut oil. The girls are gonna have a sex pact for their prom, which, yeah, coconut oil is delicious. It's awesome for massage and oral sex and manual stimulation, but it is not safe for use with condoms. Coconut oil and oil-based lubricants break down latex condoms. It is not safe when your method of contraception and STD protection is latex condoms. I would have loved it if they just gave her a bottle of actual lubricant, water-based, condom-safe, condom-friendly lubricant. That would have been amazing. So your kids are getting tons of information from social media and the internet and movies and it's not always accurate so this is why it's important to talk to your kids we don't have to send our daughters out there not understanding how to ask for their pleasure or allow someone else to use their body for the sake of their own orgasm we need to teach them how to understand what it is that they want so that they can ask for it and to decline what it is that they don't want the acts of sex and the acts of penetrative sex are at the epitome of what should be happening for them during their sexual exploration. It's not first base. So teaching our children how to navigate these relationships is so important regardless of their sexual orientation and is kind of the same regardless of their sexual orientation. I know it's hard to have the language to talk to your kids about sex education, but it's about letting them know that sex is okay, sex is good, sex is a healthy, normal part of life. A mom friend and I were talking about her daughter and how her daughter was going to become sexually active and she asked that she didn't engage in sex until she had been with this guy for six months. And my response to that was, why? Why six months? Why does it matter when in their relationship they have sex versus waiting until they've actually had a respectful, mutually beneficial conversation about how that sex is gonna play out. My friend was actually mortified that I would imply that she should talk to her daughter about sex specifically, not just, oh, you should wait, you should have safe sex, you should use condoms, but more like, what is it that you like? and how are you going to convey what it is that you want to the guy who you're engaging in sexual activity with. And I realize that there are a lot of moms out there and dads who are petrified and completely disabled when it comes to talking to their kids about sexual experiences. And I'm here to hopefully give you some language so that you can have these conversations with your kids it's not like when I talk to my kids about sex that my heart isn't racing and I'm second guessing myself the entire way and thinking, am I saying too much? Should I not be having this conversation with my kids? But the point is you should be talking to them. And the more that you can talk to them about sex, the more that they're going to question the situations that they get themselves into and how they want to navigate those relationships and those experiences. Another mom friend and I were talking about not knowing what to say to their gay son about sex. And I said, why? And they said, well, because I don't really know anything about the whole anal sex thing. And I said, but it's like anything else. Penetrative sex isn't the first thing that you do. When you're exploring a new relationship, you're generally discovering what it is that you like about somebody where do you want to take that relationship? If you have romantic feelings toward them or sexual feelings toward them, or maybe you just 
want to be sensual with them. And these are things that our kids don't learn in their standard education classes. They don't understand the difference between wanting a romantic relationship with somebody versus a sexual one with them because they think it should all just go together and that they'll figure it out eventually. But we're setting our kids up to fail. We're setting them up for situations that don't fulfill the emotional needs or the physical needs that they desire at that moment. So we have to tell them that there's a difference. We have to explain to them that they can like somebody and want to explore things with them in a physical way and that doesn't imply sexual penetration. We can tell them that there are things that they can do other than penetrative sex that feel really good, that give them whatever it is that they might need. Emotional connection, physical release. It's okay to talk to our kids about that stuff. These are things that we need as adults and they are becoming adults. They are trying to figure out how, what they need, they can ask for from someone else. And they need to understand that there's a huge menu of things that are possible for them within these relationships. Maybe they just want to kiss and make out and cuddle with somebody. It should be okay for them to ask for that. We don't empower our male children to just be sensual and soft and need emotional connection. And at the same time, we don't necessarily encourage our female children to be okay with just wanting and needing and getting physical relief. And we should be explaining that to all of our children, regardless of their sexual orientation or their gender. So how do you start the conversation? It was the perfect opportunity for me to say on the ride home from the movies, hey, just so you know, condoms are not good with coconut oil because somebody might actually try to use that with my kids. And I don't want them getting pregnant or contracting an STD because they saw something in a movie that they thought they should try. Don't just give them a book. Don't just sit them down and say, we're gonna have the talk. Because this is not how sex education should be happening. Sex education is constant. It's free flowing. It's a discussion. So whenever there's an opportunity to talk to your child about something relating to sex education, take it. And you know when that moment is. It's the moment that your heart starts beating fast because you're thinking, oh crap, do I talk to them about sex right now? And then you go, okay, oh, whew, I avoided that. Don't avoid it. Take advantage of that opportunity. Every opportunity that is missed is a moment that you can bond with your child and that you've let them know that you're available for them to talk to. Any chance you get, whether it's your own experience and something that they can learn from or a friend of yours experiences. You can have a conversation with your own spouse or your own partner and say, oh my God, I can't believe that I watched this. It's so crazy that I'm seeing this because it's not true. And let your children overhear your own conversations about sex or about sexual encounters or about what's happening in the news. There's so much going on in the media with the hashtag MeToo movement that you can talk to your kids about how situations should be navigated or could be navigated differently. Practice saying the words masturbation, self-pleasure, sexual pleasure, emotional connection, orgasm, I know that they're hard to say at first, but I promise you with a little bit of practice, it does get easier. Lastly, work on your own sex life. The more comfortable and confident and happy you are in your own sex life, the more you're gonna be able to communicate with your kids about it. If you resent your partner, if you aren't having as much sex or the kind of sex that you want to be having in your relationship, you're not going to be a good source of information for your kids because you're not a good example of what they're about to experience. 